if you have not enabled secure folder on your Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, I think you should go ahead and do it because it provides an extra layer of security. So to enable secure folder, you can drop down the notification bar and tap on this button here which says secure folder. Alternatively, you can go to settings, tap on lock screen and security. Scroll down here, locate secure folder and just turn it on. So what secure folder does, it creates a completely separate list of your apps. For example, here we have the apps in our secure folder and these are all password protected apps. So once you press the lock button, the secure folder will get locked and you will need a pin or your biometrics to get inside the secure folder. And these apps run completely separate of the main Android system. So this gallery has completely separate pictures than the gallery on our regular Android system. So you can see these pictures are completely separate and the pictures on our gallery here are completely separate and are password protected once you click on that lock button. Oh and by the way you can also move your pictures back and forth from the secure folder to your regular Android or from your regular Android system onto the secure folder system. So I want to move some pictures onto my secure folder. So let's move these pictures to our secure folder. Just tap on these three dots here and select this option which says move to secure folder. Then enter your pin and you can see these pictures will disappear from our regular gallery and they will be here in our secure folder. So there you go. And the same goes for contacts, the same goes for your emails. You'll need to set this up separately and you can add more apps. So you can download more app apps from the Play Store and you can also set up a separate Play Store account. So I can have the secure folder Play Store linked with a different Google account. So whatever apps you will download from the secure folder Play Store will run completely separate of the main phone. So you can have another Play Store here and you can have a secondary secure Play Store running here in the secure folder. And by the way, you can also add these apps from your main phone onto the secure folder. For example, let me show you if I add WhatsApp here. Now WhatsApp I already have set up on the phone. You can see I have notifications. But if I add WhatsApp here, you can see this is completely separate of the main WhatsApp that is already running here on the phone. So here I have already have an account set up and uh, in the secure folder I can have a new account set up for WhatsApp for you know secret conversations. Now secure folder will be of no use if the apps inside the secure folder keep on sending you notifications even when the secure folder is logged and the icon is removed. Now we have a way to control that. Go back to secure folder, enter your pin, then tap on these three dots and select settings and then select notifications and data and make sure this option is turned off which says show content. Now once you turn this option off, when the secure folder is logged, those apps will not send you any notifications in the Android notification bar even though they are running and they are active. And here's a fun fact, you can edit the secure folder icon here. So just press on this three button and then tap on customize icons. And you have some custom icons here and for example here you have this little gallery icon so I can rename this to album. I have renamed the secure folder to album and when I press lock, it just appears as a little album folder and alright guys, check this out. So I'm going to close all the apps and lock my phone. Now if I use my left hand fingerprint, my phone will go straight to the secure folder. And if I use my right hand fingerprint, the phone will go directly to the home screen which is the normal screen unlock. So let me show you how to enable this dual fingerprint option. So first go to settings. Tap on lock screen and security, tap on fingerprint scanner and register additional fingerprints. Now I have registered for my right finger and for my left finger over here and I have renamed them. Just tap on it to rename so that it becomes easier for us to select in the uh, secure folder option. Then once you have registered two fingerprints and rename them, go back here, scroll down and locate secure folder, enter your pin and then tap on lock type enter your pin and then make sure dedicated fingerprint option is enabled then tap on selected fingerprint and select the fingerprint which you want to use to directly go to the secure folder 
So with these options enabled, if I unlock the phone with my right hand fingerprint, it'll go directly to the home screen. But if I use my left hand fingerprint, it will go to the secure folder. Just like this. But what happens if the secure folder is already open and I forgot to press the lock button and I just put my phone to sleep like this. And what happens if I use my right hand to unlock the phone now? So if I use the right hand fingerprint, the phone just wakes up and asks for a pin. Now you can enter the pin. And now it will go directly to the secure folder. But if you're on the home screen and you use the uh, right hand fingerprint, it will go to the home screen. And in case you want to get completely rid of the secure folder icon from your app drawer, just drop down this notification bar and just press on the secure folder icon here. Now it will be completely gone from our app drawer, but secure folder apps and our data is completely intact. So let's re-enable that. And we should have secure folder here. Let's enter our pin and check gallery. So there you go, all of our pictures and our data is still there intact, no problem.